Hello and welcome to Stott Frost Mass key scale video on finding the angle of a sector given its arc length and radius. Now remember that a pizza slice like this is known as a sect of a circle, so it's just a portion of the circle. And you remember that this length here, this curved length, is known as an arc. So an arc is just a portion of the circumference of a circle. So the sector is the whole area, the arc is just this curved length here. Now remember there was a formula for the arc length of a circle and it was this. Arc length of a circle is equal to, well we start with the circumference of a full circle, so 2 pi r, and then we found the appropriate fraction of it. So what fraction of a circle do we have? Well it's theta 3 sixtieths of a circle, so we times this together so we find that fraction of this full circumference of a circle. So that was in general where we had an angle theta here, we had a radius r, and it found this arc length here. So let me just put a box around that because that's a key formula. Now we can just substitute what we know into this formula. We're told that the arc length of this circle is 2.6, so that length is 2.6, so 2.6. I tend not to put the units in the formula. Then we've got feet over 360, we don't know feet yet, so it's just feet over 360. And then times by 2 pi, and then we've got times r. r here is 4. Now let's just tidy this up a bit first, just to make it a bit simpler. We've got feet over 360. Now 2 pi times 4, or well, 2 times 4 is 8, and it's going to be 8 lots of pi. Now let's try and gradually get rid of the various things around the theta, because we want to work out what theta is. Now theta has been divided by 360, then you're timesing it by 8 pi. We want to get rid of the times by 8 pi, so we divide both sides of the equation by 8 pi. So we do 2.6 divided by 8 pi on our calculator, and that gives you 0 0.10345. I just put lots of decimal places for the moment. Dividing this by 8 pi gets rid of the times by 8 pi. And then we've got theta, it's been divided by 360 to get that. How do you get rid of that over 360? We do the opposite of divide by 360, which is timesing by 360. So we do that to both sides of the equation. We can just do the answer key times by 360. And that gives you 37.2 degrees. So that's theta. And that was two free significant figures. So I'll put two free SF. That is the final answer. Let's just check it's sensible. Yeah, that looks like it could be right. So that's probably the right answer. Now let's do a second one of these, except for sometimes they give you the arc length as some quantity of pi. So some multiple pi, something pi. But let's use exactly the same principle. The arc length we're told is 8 thirds pi. So 8 thirds pi is equal to theta over 360, we don't know what theta is yet, times 2 pi r, so 2 pi r, so 8, so I'm going to do say times by 8. Now we just need to solve this equation. Let's tidy up first. That's theta over 360. 2 pi times 8 is 16 pi. So let's just do what we did before. We want to get rid of that times by 16 pi, so we divide both sides by 16 pi. In fact, we can just divide both sides by pi to start with. Look, if we divide that by pi, we get rid of that pi. If we divide this by pi, we just get rid of that pi. So now we just need to divide both sides by that 16 here. We've got the times 16. So 8 thirds divided by 16. And that gives you a sixth. So a sixth is equal to theta over 360. We've got rid of that times by 16 now. And then to get rid of that over 360, we just need to multiply both sides by 360. So a sixth times 360 is just going to be 60 degrees. So the answer is exactly 60 degrees there. And again, that looks sensible.